What's going on everyone? Welcome to another adventure video. I'm currently out in Memphis, Tennessee, courtesy of Nike, to cover the incredible momentum happening around John Morant's first Nike basketball shoe. Now, a bunch of media is out here to get a better understanding of the technology behind the John ones, as well as a sneak peek at some of the upcoming colorways. And boy, when I tell you they have a gem in John Morant and the John ones, it's no exaggeration. Now let's get right into the shoes. Here's Ben Nathan Cum, senior Nike footwear designer for a plethora of Nike basketball performance sneakers as well as the Ja ones talking about all the tech that went into this sneaker. Okay, so we primarily focus on three things. The three key benefits for this shoe is about dynamic lockdown, about responsive ride, and also support for landings. And how we got out of that is by providing lateral support and also the fit to feel snug so Ja can cut quick in the court. Mm -hmm. And then from a responsive ride standpoint, we've added, uh, utilized a zoom bag in the forefoot to keep him bouncy and explosive on the court. And lastly, uh, for Ja, because it's just, he's such a high flyer, what goes up must come down. We want to make sure we protect him when he takes off and lands. So we reinforce the shoe with the rand that wraps around the whole shoe. And also we make sure the, uh, the midsole height is just the right amount to keep him stabilized when he plants. Now Ja was able to grace us with his presence at the FedEx Forum as he was part of a panel hosted by the lovely Brittany Elena. Along with Ben and Ja, we had Scott Munson, Nike Global VP of men's basketball, talk about why Ja was a perfect fit for the Nike basketball roster. He represents the next generation of players, but when we really think about how he plays, how he lives, it's these core values that he is showing, and it's this infectious joy. Uh, we know he is sort of team first mentality. There's this idea of tireless work ethic. He's a real leader, and you sort of said it in the opening, when you put all those together, he is this special spark at the moment for the game for Nike basketball and for the city of Memphis. Okay, now let's get into the colorways. The first colorway that surfaced on the internet Christmas day was the day one colorway. And Ben can tell you about all the Easter eggs in this particular shoe. Okay, let's talk about that. So first you see this logo loud and prominent in the front of the tongue. On the inside you have here his signature and his name Ja on the left shoe and number 12 on the right shoe. And also because this is his signature color, Cobalt Bliss, the blue will be continuous on all the signature logo in every color way. You have here her uh, Kari, his daughter's name, oh. that into the midsole. You have the number 12 here in a micro perf, in this queen, you kind of see that kind of light yeah. on the medium side. Yeah. And then you have uh, the Midnight Series, which is like the overall arching theme for the whole Jaw 1. That's going to be embedded in the heel back here. You have Start From Scratch which is located on the rubber medial side. And just little things like uh, really crazy uh, detail, like we wanted to have the outrigger here. If you look at that shelf, it forms a J for oh. John Moran. His signature is actually not on top, it's actually underneath the mesh and popped through through the embroidery. You can kind of see there, so it's more like ghosted. And here is, uh, it says jaw. J A but like behind the mesh as well. Certain colorways are more pronounced and certain colorways are more toned down. And the insole we have it says day one. It has a note, a handwritten note by John Morant that is inside the sock line. When you get a pair, you can remove all the tissue and kind of see the whole written note. Every single uh, verbiage on the shoe was handwritten by John Morant. So we didn't use any sort of font, it was all handwritten by hand. The next colorway you'll see here is the PE version of the day one colorway. You can see they use similar color blocking, but just inverted, which Ja's been putting a lot of people on posters in this particular colorway. It's insane. The next colorway was debuted on Christmas Day against the Warriors. This is called the chimney colorway when he said, we ain't ducking no smoke, we climb up the chimney. You can clearly see smoky gradient on the mud guard. Subtle details like that really elevates the storytelling. The fourth colorway you'll see here is called the Trivia Colorway, paying homage to Ja Morant's love for the trivia board games. The side panel is decked out with questions about Ja. Like, did you know his real name is Demetrius Jamel Morant? And finally, probably the unanimous favorite colorway we saw in that locker room was the Scratch Colorway. Inspired by the Vancouver Grizzlies color blocking, you can see the scratch marks on the side of the shoes. Really, really vibrant and different from anything that's currently on the market. Now, I only showed you five colorways, but there were actually 10 colorways that were shown to us, and unfortunately, those missing five, well, it was strictly for our eyes only. But I will say, I'm excited for the world to see those PEs that Ja will be wearing throughout the season. And trust me when I say, he's got some heat for that court. Now, we were able to get some shots up on the court as well as do some workout drills that Ja's trainer put us through. Let's go, Brittany! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah, yeah. We also got to experience and learn from the National Civil Rights Museum. And to cap off the entire video, we saw 12 hoop in person against the Cavaliers. All in all, I appreciate Nike giving us a sneak peek and breakdown of the upcoming Nike Ja Ones. These sneakers are slated to release sometime in April. Make sure you follow Soul Savvy for more sneaker news. And when I do get a pair in hand, I'll be sure to let you know my initial thoughts on the sneakers. I'm excited to see what Ja wears on court during the All-Star game, because I think it's safe to say he's a shoe in for the All-Star voting. So until next time, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.